And now, your sports authority with Michael Gilbert. Welcome back to Eyewitness News at 9 p.m. on CW7. Some special guests are here to chat. The 4A State Champions Memorial visiting Eyewitness News Studios. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Memorial defeated East Noble 21-3 at Lucas Oil Stadium. And coach, first, congratulations. And second, some of these people outside of your own circle didn't expect this victory. Just considering your move from 3A to 4A, how special does this state title win? Well, I think it's special for our kids, really, because there was a lot of unknowns coming into this year, especially going into 4A. Uh, we're not familiar with the, the teams outside of Evansville, really, with 4A schedule. And so East Noble, they're about as far from Indianapolis to the north as we are from, the, you know, down south. So it was an interesting matchup, but I didn't have a lot of familiarity with any of the teams that they had played. A new territory, so that, how does it feel? Second title in three years. Where do you think this program could be headed, and just how proud are you of this team and the foundation that they created? Well, I'm proud of these kids. You know, going into the year, I, I was saying something to Alan Michael coming out here. I remember the media day at the beginning of the year, and he was answering some questions, and I felt like he was a little nervous when he was answering them. And one of the things is, we made a comment about going to state. You know, my, my initial response was easy, Tiger. You know, we got a long way to go before we're messing with that. So uh, it's kind of neat to sit back and think about the things that we talked about as coaches leading into the year and really with the kids and, and stuff we did with, uh, you know, we do a senior letterman retreat with uh, Andy Tizing as a, as a, for, a former player. And uh, he spoke at our uh, pep assembly when we, we returned. and. Uh, he talked with these guys a lot about leadership and stuff like that. So it's just, I mean, it's just neat to look back and be able to take it all in. As far as where we're going, I think if these guys rub off on the, the younger guys that have got to see these guys do it, I think there's good things ahead of us. Uh, we'll, just, we'll just have to wait and see what we do next year. And with the, that, those notes, what did it feel like, uh, Colin, to get, see everybody come back on Lincoln Avenue, cheering you guys on, you're on the fire truck. Just describe that feeling, just seeing all the Tiger faithful cheer for you guys on the sidelines and then uh, in your own backyard. Uh, it was one of the best feelings in the world, really. Uh, on the fire truck, seeing all the blue uh, in front of Memorial, I mean, it's, it was amazing, and you don't get that very often from winning state championships from that perspective. But... Every game they showed up and supported us no matter what. When we would win or lose, they would support us. Alan Michael Stepto here with us. He made one of the defining plays in the state championship game. You had two interceptions tied for an individual state record. Describe that moment where you're in coverage, you, you make the play that really is the game ceiling moment of the game. I mean, that was just right after Brock Combs' amazing run. Uh, I mean, that was awesome. I uh, dropped back, made my read. He looked too long at the hitch, and I picked it off. And I mean, after I did that, I just knew we had the win, and it was it was something else, really. It's unexplainable. Coach, just if you can put these last couple of days in words, I know people greeted you last night and Saturday, and then obviously today on Sunday. Just describe what it's been like, just wrapping up and, and putting a bow on this whole entire experience. Well, it's been pretty emotional, really. This has been a. Uh... A group now, now, Colton wasn't part of this show when they were in seventh grade, but with Alan Michael and these guys, I had to coach them once when they were in seventh grade. That was a long afternoon up at Southridge. We ended up winning the game, and I was filling in for uh, Scott Stratton, who was our seventh grade coach at the time. And I thought, I am not built to deal with seventh graders. And to see where these guys are now from that point is just unbelievable. You know, we looked back, and these young men are. What was it, 41 and three in their varsity career? And that's, that's a tribute to the hard work they've put in and commitment they've made to each other. All right, guys. Well, I can't thank you guys enough for coming by our Eyewitness Studios and chatting about your most, most recent 4A state championship. Thank you guys so much. Coming up next on Eyewitness News, we're going to talk about the Colts as they fall to the Titans earlier today. What went wrong with the horseshoe? Coming up next on Eyewitness News.